Welcome to the primary election special for the 2014 election. The show is a Sonny Hirsch production. I'm your host, Avi Myers. Thank you for joining us. Get your wife and kids off the street. Protect the women and children. Jewish Chicago's in town. Hope you'll pick it up and take a good look at it. It's got a very thorough look at the judicial races. We're doing this special, which is actually four half-hour shows that if you're watching on TV, our two-hour block, because we don't have enough room in our regular show to get all the deserving people we'd like to get on the air. And even though I had my next guest on the regular show one time, I did invite him back a second time. I do do that with, uh, you know, good people, and he's got good bar ratings. It is a pleasure to introduce you to a candidate in the ninth sub-circuit of Cook County, Brian Alexander. Brian, how you doing? Nice to be here again. First of all, thank you, and I appreciate your coming. Thank you. And why don't you, you know, because not everybody who's going to watch in the election special watches the regular show, why don't you fill us in on your background? Okay. Uh, well, my name is Brian Alexander. I'm an attorney in private practice, a small firm, uh, my daughter and myself. I've been practicing law for 37 years. Um, this is my first run for public office. Um, my practice, as I say, is a uh, two-person firm, and we do primarily litigation, and we also do real estate and bankruptcy and small business, corporate work. The litigation practice is perhaps half family law and the other half um, <coughs> contracts, uh, collections, an assortment of things. We pretty much represent small clients, individuals, small families. Um, we don't represent big corporations. We don't do major PI work. Um, I'm in court virtually every day, um, sometimes more than once a day. It's My practice is uh, varied, and it's what I enjoy doing. It keeps me... Uh, keeps me happy doing a little variety of things. But the main individual is family law. Gotcha. Now what does family law encompass? Divorce, um, child support, custody, those are the big the big three. Yeah. So, um, okay, so what made you decide to uh, want to run for judge? Well, I think any lawyer who has a litigation practice has certainly thought at one time in their career, hey, I, I want to be a judge. I can do as well or better than the mm -hmm. judge sitting on the bench. Um, what encouraged me to finally make the move after 37 years is in the last number of years, I get a lot of appointments as child rep. Um, that means rep a, a court will appoint me to represent the interest of a child when the court doesn't feel that the parents are adequately looking after their kid because they're both partisan fighting for themselves. And in doing that, I discovered that I can really make a difference in people's lives. Um, it gives me a chance to help formulate solutions that really benefit the kids. Um, don't necessarily make both parents happy, but they're the right thing for the child. A lot of those are pro bono intentionally. Um, a lot By the of way, pro bono means free, so he's being right, charitable. Right. Well, <laughs> a lot of the appointments I get are with the understanding that I'm not getting paid. A lot of the appointments I get are with the hope that the parents will pay me, but this sort of we all know they don't have the money and I'll never see any. And once in a while I even get paid for my time. But it's, I, I found that it's really a very rewarding thing to do, and I think I've made a lot of families better mm -hmm. and by being a judge I can do more of that. Very good. So um, how do you campaign? How does a campaign work? Because you can't you can't go out and like you know try to sell um, you know like a magical formula like if you were running for state rep. That's, that's right. You and you can't tell people 40 acres and a mule like they did in uh, Gone with the Wind. <laughs> well you, you aren't really so, I mean, you, you're a human being and you have positions, but you're not really supposed to present them in a judicial campaign. Um, it's supposed to be about the, the judicial issues, as I tell people, are do you have general knowledge? Do you have experience? Do you have integrity? And do you have the right temperament? And not all judges have all those. And 
I have been told, and the bar associations have reiterated that I, la I do not lack in those areas, that I, I've been lauded for my good temperament by several of the bar associations, and I've been either recommended or uh, found qualified by all of the bar associations. Very good. So do you attend a lot of events? Um, I'm trying to. Um, I try to go to as many things as I can. Um, I try to go to community organizational type things. Um, there have been a lot of town meetings, especially in Evanston. I've gone to those kind of events. It's just getting myself out there. That's yeah. what it's all about because um, in this weather, standing on street corners for hours isn't really a viable option. <laughs> uh, you can hear probably that I have a little cold. I'm at the tail end of it. Um, Report slam, as they say, which means get well soon. Um, <laughs> just spending too much time with people who have colds. Yeah, and the fact of the matter is, too, that even if you're willing to stand out there with their time, there are too many people that really want to stop and talk to you for a long time in this kind of cold. Yes, when, mm -hmm. I, was doing, mm -hmm. when I was doing petitions, um, that would happen regularly as people would want to know what my opinion on a subject is. And it's, mm -hmm. it's hard to tell people that as a judge we don't take positions, we follow the law. Um, they take that as a brush off. But that happens to be the truth. You're not allowed to represent yourself in those opinions. That's true. And you have to just try to explain to people that I may have a personal opinion, but as a judge, it's not my opinion that counts. It's the law that counts yeah, and the also, facts of the case. Yeah. No, it's, uh, no, that happens to be true, and that's one of the reasons it's, it's rather, it, it's a whole different campaign. Yes. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you got a website? Yeah, it's... Um, it's uh, Brian Alexander for Judge dot org, and Facebook is Brian Alexander for Judge, and I think if you uh, look at my website, um, you will see that I am a qualified candidate because I think I'm the only candidate in the race that represents a lot of small people. I don't represent big corporations. I don't do big personal injury work. I just have a lot of families and individuals that I represent. And I get a lot of encouragement from them. Um, many of my clients know that I'm running for judge, and they're all pushing for me. Well, no, that sounds good. And um, is there like a mes particular message? Um, well, actually, you're kind of already giving the message. But uh, yeah, no. The um, if you had to sum up your so, sum up your experience, we've got about a minute. So you want to sum up your experience running? You want to sum up? Uh, you know, why you should become a judge, whatever you okay. like. Um, in 37 years of practice, I've had a broad variety of cases. My calendar is primarily litigation of different sorts, but heavily family law. I think it gives me a broad view of the kinds of issues that people have. In addition to the trial work in uh, family law and general litigation, I also do a lot of immigration work, a lot of bankruptcy work, a lot of real estate work. And so I'm able to understand the totality of the problem rather than sometimes people fight over divorce cases and there are immigration issues or bankruptcy issues. And I find so many of my colleagues and judges on the bench have no clue and don't think in terms of these other issues. And I think that's the skill and the knowledge that I will bring to the court. So your website is brianalexanderforjudge.org? Yes. And uh, what is your punch number? 180. Nice number. Yeah, 10 times high. You should have mentioned that on your own without my asking. Brian Alexander, good luck with the campaign. Thank you.